Hi everybody. So I want to show you this NACA calculator that I use. Um, here is the link for it. I'll also put it down in the um, description below. But this is the site you want to go to. And you want to scroll all the way down. Just go past all of this right here. And you want to get to right here. This is your actual NACA calculator. Let me scoot up some. Okay. Here you go. This is the actual calculator that I used to find out if my homes, that I, the homes I was looking for, are affordable or not. So you'll recognize this page because there's where your web file login is and all of that jazz. So I'm going to do an example for you guys. Um, so what I did is I click on the enter your desired purchase price okay and so let's just say your purchase price is a hundred and twenty thousand okay let me make sure I got enough zeros there okay all right so as you click things in this area you're gonna see that the desired monthly payment is going to change okay so you've got all your info here you've got but I don't I don't pay attention to this rent per unit um, or the down payment I did I'm not putting a down payment in there um, here's where you would put your buy down amount if you are buying down your interest rate and here's where your interest rate is as of today and today is what what is today what is today Miss Sunshine what is today the 19th. the 19th today is the 19th so as of may 19th 2019 this is your interest rate okay and your mortgage is 30 years <coughs> excuse me and you can change it to 15 years but i did 30 years and i think that's what the most most of us are going to do this um calculator defaults to the tax rate of 12 percent, but that'll change you know depending on how much your taxes are for your home you can um i use zillow.com as a very good source for the taxes you can also go on your county website of where you're going to be located and you should be able to look up that house and find out what the um taxes are for that house from there or at least what the previous taxes are so here um, is where you're you'll enter in your monthly insurance so say just for an example just say your insurance is going to be six hundred dollars a month i mean a year well you can divide that six hundred okay sorry i had to get it to um clear up so you can do that six hundred and you can divide it by twelve okay twelve months in a year so you're going to have $50 worth of insurance a year, 50 a month, I'm sorry. And say you have a condo or an HOA fee. So say you're, um, just for an example, just say that your HOA fee is, I don't know, 150 a year. So you divide that 150 by 12 and that'll give you $12.50 per month okay and see every time I enter something in it's going to change my monthly payment amount okay so but say your taxes are let's see let's say your taxes are 1200 a year so you'll divide that 1200 by 12 and that gives you a hundred dollars in taxes right a month but right here I have 12, well, 12% 12 tax rate. So my monthly taxes is 120. So I'm just gonna move this up until it goes to the 100 or close to the 100 that I need. Okay, so there we go, 10%. So there's where my payment is right now. Okay, so that's kind of how you do it. That's what I did. And by the time I did my, um, Oh, let me show you one more thing. Let's just say I want to buy down uh, my points a little bit. So I'm going to add 
2000 here. So I, that means I would have to have an extra $2,000, right? Um, when I get ready to go to closing and your mortgage counselor will have to show proof. You have to show your mortgage counselor proof of that, uh, before she will give you your property specific letter. Okay. So you see what it did. It actually changed my amount to 669. Okay. So that's exactly what I'll be paying monthly or at least an estimate. Okay. And you see where your interest rates are now. So you can see the differences. Um, if you have any questions, I kind of did this in a hurry on my laptop just to kind of show you something. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I most definitely will help you as much as I can so that we can get these homes and get our closing done and everything. So I'll be uploading some more videos soon. I hope this was helpful to you guys to show you how to use this calculator. Um, because I really have not seen any videos out there with this. So you can just see with my little example, my purchase price, $120,000, 30-year mortgage, interest rate, 3.625, buy down $2,000. And for my understanding, my new rate would be 3.208 because of the buy down. Um, and my desired monthly payment would end up being six sixty nine. So that's just an example for you to go by. It might be a horrible example, but that's the example I got. <laughs> so hope this is helpful, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.